In this part of course we are going to uh, do a parameter simulation for an ideal amplifier from the library. The name of new schematic is SP Amp. Uh, we're going to start doing a S parameter simulation. So uh, first I'm setting up S parameter simulation setup. So uh, we have to go to simulation S param and uh, put terms one two. And I need my grounds here, as always. And also uh, I'm going to use S parameter here from one gigahertz to uh, let's say it's uh, the uh, this uh, pump is uh, working in this frequency range and 0.1 gigahertz so now uh, the thing i need here is uh, the amplifier idea amplifier i i'm not going to design amplifier here i'm going to show uh, one amplifier from the library you can just uh, type here ampli amplifier and you can see this uh, idle amplifier so imagine that you have designed the amplifier and now you're going to measure the S parameters for this amplifier and everything is ready here. You're just trying to find the input and output in impedance matching and out uh, gain and also isolation. So I'm going to set this up. DB polar means the, the decibel. So my decibel gain is 10. And S11, I'm going to make this DB as well. Uh, it should be minus 15. And I'm going to make this minus 15 as well, make this uh, 0 and dB polar. And this one, uh, like same, let's say minus uh, 20. And now, uh, so imagine that you, are, you have designed an amplifier and uh, you actually design the input and output matching circuit and the gain and everything. You just want to measure. That's how you measure your amplifier. You need the port at the input and a port at the output. So now you can find your S parameters. So uh, let's simulate this circuit and see what is happening. So here I can measure my S parameters. S11 dB. So as you see it's uh, minus 15 in the frequency range. So as you see this up amp is idle. It's gonna show minus 15 all the time but in real amplifier actually we have some variations here. Uh, but this is uh, this example actually this tutorial is just to show how you can uh, f obtain s parameters for an amplifier i'm going to show s12 and as you see we set these values so the other one is s21 the gain my gain is 10 so as you see it's 10 db gain and what about the last thing is to do my output matching uh, is like this so this is actually this is a perfect result for amplifier uh, your S11 should be uh, minus 15 or even uh, less than this value, minus 16, minus 20. Uh, gain depends on your uh, actual design and also output matching also should be uh, less than. Welcome to RAH RF209L, Keysight Advanced Design System ADS Basics and Applications course where you will learn how to do simulations on RF circuits in order to become an experienced radio frequency design engineer and landing a job in companies like Apple, SpaceX, Qualcomm and Broadcom and designing ICs going inside phones and laptops or systems going into satellite and planes. My name is Atasar Rafinejad and with my colleague and course advisor Asan Goncha I would be leading you through this course. I began my career as a research assistant during my PhD studies. Later on, I moved from academia to industry as an RF and analog design engineer, designing power amplifiers and low noise amplifier ICs. My course advisor, Ahsan Gonche, has more than five years RF design and test experience in the industry working at top semiconductor companies such as Broadcom and Qualcomm designing RF filter and bringing up of modules going to lastest phones, laptops and other consumer electronics. The ideal student for this course is an electrical engineer, computer science student planning to become an expert in RF and land a job in the RF field or engineers and employees of the communication and radio frequency related companies who want to boost up or refresh their knowledge on the topics. In this course you are going to be provided with one month free trial ADS so you can do your own simulations and besides that you will have 180 nanometer technology PDK so you will have your own transistor models 
And we are going to start with the simple uh, simulations like DC, AC as parameter, and later on we will go on uh, uh, harmonic balance, uh, P1 dB, IP3 simulations, matching, optimization, and different kind of things that you need to know about the ADS.